YouTube, it's your girl, the real Goldie. And today I'm here with another video. With a number of them. Today you guys can take my hair off me. So I can put a wig in my head. So I'm gonna take these out. Well, I said take these out. I'm gonna take these out. And then, um, yeah, you guys, it's gonna get a whole new shebang bang. I'm gonna have a little chit chat with y'all. Gossip or gossip. But without further ado, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share this video with me. I'm gonna let you know what you're gonna feel like this post now. We're gonna go ahead and get right. Alright, y'all, so I did these plaques in my head. Yeah, I just seen the video of me putting plaques in my head, so I'm taking these out already because my doctor told me I can't. Alright, my appointments for my doctor got pushed all the way back so I'm not actually getting here so I want my birthday and today is March 3rd I love that for me my birthday is actually tomorrow yay so now I'm gonna take these out and put away my head today probably later tonight so I can take some cute pictures for Instagram for my birthday tomorrow and yeah and I know you see this part right here it's cause I cut my hair and like I had it in some jumbo plaits, so I don't know, it just started coming out. So yeah, I hate that for me. I'm trying to push it under. Alright, it's gonna be like that for now. So right now I'm just cutting my ends like it's right here. Just cutting, kind of cutting, And I usually cut up further than this, but I'm just cut it right here for right now. But how have you guys been? What you guys been up to? I haven't posted in a few days. Me, I'm gonna tell y'all what I've got to. So, late, I have something called vertigo, and I have like a severe case of it basically. When I just be, I literally get dizzy and pass out out of nowhere. So, I've been going to the doctor stuff like that, which is why I haven't been posting anything right now, because I've been going to the doctor so much and it's been a little down, you know? But, oh my god, that shit is hard to put. I need some thicker scissors. I need some better scissors. Because these scissors are used to cut like lace off my weed or something. But anyway, so I've been um, kind of down, you know, because I've been going to the doctor or whatever. And basically, I can't try for a full year now. Because even, even when they find out what's wrong with me, basically, um, because I, it's like I get dizzy spells and just pass out. It's not safe for me to be driving. I have to go a full year without having any dizzy spells or at least six months without having any dizzy spells in order to be able to drive. So yeah, that was, this was just a lot I was taking, you know. But yeah, so basically, that's all I've been up to really. I'm working, getting to the manan. But yeah, and then like, y'all seen the video last time when I got my nails stuff done. I was actually supposed to get my lashes done, but I had to cancel my appointment because I thought I had, uh, um, I thought I had to go to the doctor again. So I was gonna get false lashes on my face because I was like, oh, I might have to go to the doctor. They might be saying that's something like I can't have on my face, so I'm not gonna get them. Turns out my appointment, they rescheduled it to the 19th of March, which is way after my birthday. So I really could have got them, but it's whatever. And then what else? That's really it. That's all, all I've really been up to. And I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I'm kind of scared to go out on my birthday because I don't like. I hate. I hate passing out. Like I just feel so like loser. But no, I don't. I don't like passing out like that. So I mean, who would like that? Bro? But no, I'm kind of scared to go out on my birthday only because like I don't want to pass out anywhere because let me tell y'all the first time I ever passed out I was actually at a party and I was with my friend I was standing we were standing by the um bar or whatever and I was basically saying oh I feel so dizzy and she was trying to give me some water before she can give me the water I was already on the floor and I banged my head against the floor so I'm kind of scared to keep going out like that because you know nowadays 
people will see you like pass out whatever and they won't even help you they'll just stare at you whatever and me banging keep banging my head on the floor because i did it again like recently that's out again recently but me keep banging my head on the floor is not very good for myself like you know like because you can really get brain trauma from that stuff you know so so i'm kind of kind of scared to go out anywhere so what I've been doing for the past couple days is just drunk in the house, been in my bed, relaxing, get my mind together. But I feel like I still want to go somewhere for my birthday. But I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all think I should go or you think I should stay home and just do stuff at home? Like, what do y'all think? Because honestly, and truly, my health is more important than my birthday. You know, if I don't take care of my health, I don't have another birthday. So it's kind of like, yeah. And now. I haven't really been taking it that serious because I'm making jokes about it. <laughs> okay, so I have dark humor, so stuff is not supposed to be funny. I think it's hilarious, and I just be like making jokes about something like that, and like all my friends be looking at me like this bitch is crazy. Just insane, but it's humble. But yeah, that's what's been going on with me. So if y'all know anything I can take to like bring oxygen help because what they said was they felt they think I have a lot a lack of oxygen going to my brain at some point in time so if y'all know anything I could take or anything like that let me know I'm supposed to be getting some pills from the doctor too um when I go in but let me know what y'all think let me know what y'all think do y'all think I should do y'all have like a special pill you know, you can say, like, to help get oxygen to your brain. Or what y'all do. I don't know. I don't know whoever. I don't know. Is vertigo a common thing to have? I don't think so. But it might be. I don't know. I just know. I got it. And I was diagnosed with it, like, a year and a half ago. And then, like, a few months after that, I ended up passing out on the floor. And... Yeah, my life has been crazy. It's been a crazy world to live in, okay? But you only got one life, so better live it to the fullest. But no, for real. Mm, I just been kind of scared to do anything. Cause just uh, like, mm -mm. cause it's it's very scary because like, what if I hit my head too hard on the floor? I don't wake back. Oh, like, no, I got a lot of stuff to do tomorrow. And I'm trying to get to it, you know? So that's why I've been kind of um, not posting anything right now because I was a little depressed but about it. But you know what? Everything happened for a reason. And maybe this is just my journey I have to take down the road. And you know, it will all get better done, and I know. And me not being able to drive kind of mixed with my spirits. A little bit but it is what it is I have good friends so I know they'll look out for me if I have to do something I go somewhere and also I can uber places too so it's not like you know I ain't gonna lie y'all though but uber that is expensive like mm -mm. and this plaque y'all right here it, dang, it came out yesterday I ain't even unplugged it it just came out the whole thing but yeah Drop like Uber and around for it. This is expensive. Like, mm -mm. this is not like for me. So, a little bit, yeah. I don't like that. But this all I want to tell y'all the update on my life story. Just a little update about me, what I want, what's going on with me. Let me know what's going on with you guys on the comments. We can have a little discussion about it, you know. And yeah, but right now, you guys are going to finish. Watch me put out the rest of my hair. I might come back in here and there, but for the most part, I'll be taking out my hair. And yeah, so. <laughs>
the last episode of Euphoria. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I haven't watched it yet. I'm waiting for my friends to watch it with me. But I haven't watched it also because, like, I just know Fizz is gonna die. Fizz and what's the little boy name? I thought little boy name, but I just know they're gonna pass away. Like, mmm, mmm, mmm. I ain't ready for all that. And then they were saying season two, you, I mean, not season two, season three, four, you're coming out in 2024. 2024, are you serious? Like, don't piss me off. But no, I'm actually gonna watch the last episode of Before We Get Tonight. Ooh. Also, okay, that's what I was thinking about doing, you guys, on this channel, like, doing like a recap of euphoria from season one to the last episode that just came out on sunday let me know if y'all want to see that though because i'll be having a lot to say because i really think like before it's just my show but also i don't know if you guys watch snowfall like do you guys watch snowfall mm -mm. yeah snowfall came back out and it is so good so good. Like, it was definitely worth the wait. Yeah, those are those are the shows I'm watching right now because everything else I watch is turned off. Oh, and I'm watching on Peacock. I'm watching Bel Air. Like, it's okay. So Bel Air is on Peacock. It's like a modern version of Fresh Fresh Prince of Bel Air from um you know when we was sure when we was the kids. It's like a modern version mixed off to that. And y'all, it like go into details about like how he ended up going to um going to live with his uncle and auntie and all type of stuff like y'all. But let me tell y'all, I don't know who picked this cast though because let me tell y'all, who made Carlton look like that? Like Carlton was a nerd. I was like that, and in this modern version, Carlton is a nerd, but. He like really with the stuff, like you know what I'm saying. So I don't know. I don't know who made this little pick the cast for this person, but I feel like everybody else look good except for Carson. Don't fit in the mix. Like I don't know. Like he just, I guess because I'm thinking back up to like the first Fresh Prince of Bel Air, so it's like mm -mm. Carson should have picked different. They should have picked a different Carson, honestly, quite frankly. But. Everybody, know, everybody in there play real good, and you know, um, I think her name Coco Jones or like that. I think that's what her name is. She was on like Let It Shine from Disney Channel. She in that show too. She is um the big sister, the girl that was red. She her, and then you got Ashley, which is like this little girl, whatever. They got everybody in there look good though. I ain't gonna cap. But Carlton, Carlton needs to go. Like, I don't know why they put that, put that man as Carlton. Like, they did it wrong for that. Like, mm-mm. But yeah, that's just what I've been doing, what I've been watching, and my like, euphoria. I'm watching the last episode today, so I'm gonna come back and let y'all know how much, how I like it or not. If I like it or not, I don't know. I know I'm lucky because it's euphoria. Like, mm, are you crazy? But I'm, 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 I know I'm gonna cry. I just know I'm gonna cry. Like, mm -mm, cause I always do feels like that. Like, why is they kicking him off the show? But all that means they're gonna add new people to the show. I guess, like, new um people to the show. Oh, oh my gosh, it's gonna be so good. I can't wait. Like. Mm -mm. I can't freaking wait to watch it. I'm actually, my friend was coming over here later today. So I can help her take her hair out. And she gonna take me to the hair store. So I'm gonna see. Um, I'm gonna see what they talk about. Cause honestly, the episode right before the last episode, I knew it was gonna go be crazy because of the play. Like they have like a play like, it's like damn near exactly what happened in real life and stuff. Too, so. It's about like what happened in the real time. So I don't know, y'all. I don't know is. I'm sorry, I need to talk about that. But all I 
I know is that this episode is going to be real good because Cassie was looking in the freaking um, little window. So mad because Nate don't want to talk to her no more. Like, yo, she's going to be evil. Like, and then her sister's the one that made the play. It's doing the whole play. Like, she is about to be freaking evil. Like, oh my God, I can already see it now. Like, and then room. I don't know, Ru is just doing what Ru too. She is on the cool drugs, like, she on the shit with the stuff, okay? So, I don't know about her either, honestly. But, I feel like she, I feel like in season three, she gonna try to clean up a little bit. Like, she was really trying this season, but she just couldn't get it. Like, she couldn't get it right. And I feel like in season three, she might um start cleaning up her act a little bit, you know, because like her sister is like getting bad grades and stuff now, all sorts of stuff. So I don't know. She might um get it together for the sake of her sister, you know. So I don't know, y'all. But everybody, the mama just said, Fuck "You were like basically like girl, I'm not worried about you no more. If you want to kill yourself, kill yourself." <laughs> what? Like why would you say that girl that? But I guess it was tough love because, like, she didn't feel like nobody can write her, so maybe she won't do it. But like, try to act up. I don't know, but I just know that this last episode is going to be so good. And if you watched the last episode, comment in the comment section how you liked it. Like, one out of ten, what is something crazy that happened in the thing? Because I'm not reading the comments for yet until after um, I watch it anyway, so I will not know what y'all talking about. So, come leave it in the comments. Like, how you look, did you love it? Did you hate it? Like, was it okay? Was something that was crazy that you didn't expect happen? Like, let me know what y'all think about Euphoria because I can go on and on about Euphoria. Like, Euphoria is my show. I can watch it all over again from season one, like, first episode. Like, what are you saying? So, yeah. That's all what I had to do. That's what I'm talking about. That's all.
my hair. Mm, mm, mm. I've done my little thing. And I'm probably gonna, I don't know if I'm gonna wash my hair because I want it to grow. So, I don't know. I might wash it and add some like um, oils and stuff to my hair and then go ahead and start with my stocking cap and stuff for my wig. But that's about it. I'm gonna show you, I can show you my wig. I gotta show you my wig, but I'm gonna show you another video. There's gonna be a video coming up after this video. It's gonna be with me customizing with all of this stuff. And I'm gonna do another video with putting it in the This is gonna be like something, 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 something. Mm. We love a good bag. We love a bag. We love a bag queen. Like, what? into it but no thank you guys so much for watching this video make sure you like comment subscribe make sure you share with me everybody let me know what you got the real club is posting now well you know it's posting so let me know to come check me out you know what i'm saying and thank you guys for thank you everyone that actually did subscribe to my channel that gives me a thumbs up my video and comment means so much to me and yeah that's really good y'all until next time